Hello everyone, thank you for staying with us on Plus TV Africa. This is Tea Time where we discuss the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin and I've got my co-anchors with me, Nimide Kombi and Ife Oluwa. Okay. Of course, it's the extra one, you know. That's Ife Oluwa. Okay. We're good. How are you doing? Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Are you <laughs> what are you wanting? <laughs> 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 like, oh, man, like it's just a cool Oh, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm holding, like, I'm holding oh, up nicely. Okay. Let's continue. I'm holding up nicely. Ah, uh, great, great, great. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice. Okay. Have you done anything mischievous today? <laughs> American Factory, <laughs> a documentary by Barack and Michelle Obama's studio won the Oscar for Best Documentary Feature. The documentary was acquired by Netflix in association with Higher Ground um, or out of the Sundance Film Festival where it was awarded the U.S. Documentary Directing Prize. The production deal between the Obamas and Netflix is a first for any former occupant of the White House. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is congratulations. Um, we, we spoke about it when it was nominated, mm -hmm. and we're talking. I think if I had seen like a couple of movies in the category, mm -hmm. and you hadn't seen this one at the time, mm -hmm. you know, well, congratulations. And I, and I still haven't seen it, but I, would I still love haven't to seen it. Yeah. it out, so. I actually started. Mm -hmm. But you know you have to be in a certain frame of mind to flow mm -hmm. with a certain type of documentary. Yeah, so I started and I stopped, I started and I stopped. But yeah. because it won the Oscars, I'll try to finish it. Yeah, I think that's one of the things that the Oscars does for people. Mm -hmm. It really puts movies, a lot of movies on the spotlight. Yeah. For instance, the movie that won the best picture of the night, Parasite, mm -hmm. the South Korean, mm -hmm. that was like the first international film to ever win the Oscars in the history. This is when they started the Oscars. This was the first international movie to win a Best Picture. Mm, I think it's the first to win at the, in the capacity it did. So it got about four wins. No, it's the first to win Best Picture. That part, Best Picture okay. is like the biggest award of the mm -hmm. night. They have been there. They've had Best International Film categories. Mm -hmm. And it also won that category. But Best Film is like, um, Best Picture is the best movie of the year. Okay. And it was... A movie that was not in English, so mm. that was what the, the, this Oscars 2020 was like a very huge, huge deal one. to yeah. a lot of people. A lot of people kept tweeting about it that history has been made, and um, it also because a few years back, um, Moonlight, a movie by black people, also won Best Picture. So it's like a very big deal because it feels like finally the Oscars are becoming a little bit diversified, but they are not really there yet because this year too. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, but then the parts had won Best Director, yeah, Best, best Directing, film, Best, best Original Film, Screenplay, yeah. yeah. and then it, Best it, Picture. Yes, he it, it had a lot of awards. And I feel like because of the fact that, because I've seen so many people just within today, Parasite is trending, even on Google, because a lot of people are checking it out, like, what is the hype yeah. about this movie? So that's one of the things that the Oscars does. It, it puts, you know, um, creatives, whatever it is that they've put out there, if your work is certified in the Oscars, it just puts another mark I think that's what it. every award um, um, event or yeah. ceremony does, because for someone like me, when I think of what to watch, I just look for one of the biggest um, festivals or mm -hmm. awards and then look at the nominees and start watching from there to say, okay, why was this nominated? So mm -hmm. it's, it's instead of me sitting down to wonder where, what, where do I go to or what do I watch or who do I call to recommend something, it's mm -hmm. easy for me to look at the nomination list and pick out something to watch. Mm -hmm. So being nominated is usually a big deal and then mm -hmm. finally winning it is another... And especially the one. Oscars, because mm -hmm. the Oscars is like the biggest, for every filmmaker, it's like their biggest dream. Mm -hmm. Like, whether you are in, yeah, whether mm -hmm. you are a Nigerian filmmaker or you are whatever, from whatever part of the world that you are, mm -hmm. it's like a very, very big deal to a lot of filmmakers. So I, I would say that um, kudos to all of the nominees and also the people that, that won. won. You know, it's a very, very great thing when whatever it is that you've put out there is honored in that way. So I'm happy for all of them that won. Okay, so uh, my congratulations are in order to the Obamas because um, I think um, this is history because this is the first time um, anyone from the White House is ever winning the Oscars. Uh, mm. And they said the only thing that Former came... Former occupant, not someone from the White House. They are not in they're the they're White just House. Someone from the, yeah, someone <laughs> from the White House, like from the White House. Former They've occupants. been there. They've been... We shall... We shall... Over what year, all right? Mm -mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> so... Um, People that now you've made me lose my train of thought. Yeah, Should so but no, 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 I'm okay. good, I'm good. So um, this is the first time somebody that has occupied or people that have occupied the White House are winning an Oscars, and 
it's not people are saying it like yes it's their production higher ground right it's their production company right but um people are saying it like it's the obamas it's just their production company but the people that came out to collect the awards and i like what um obama said and obama actually gave a shout out to them he tweeted about it actually yeah. and the only person that um has also done something similar that has gone into television and all of that is former president al gore or something yeah, did al I get? Gore, yeah, yeah so gore. so um big shout out to that i like the fact that even though they've left the White House, they're still making impact, positive impact for that matter because they are still putting out the stories out there and they're mm -hmm. doing something to change the way you look at things because this is the economy. Is to, I think I, I read the synopsis of this um, documentary and it's about um, six men who lost their jobs from um, in an American automobile recession. company during the 2008 recession period. Mm -hmm. And then when the um, company became a Chinese company, they got rehired. Mm -hmm. You get so that's a very twisted story right there. So I think anybody would would be interested in that. Mm -hmm. So I like what the Obamas are doing that they're using their platform to still um, make impacts positively. That's amazing. So big shout out to them. So they're still winners regardless. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I won't let this go until I remind you that Joker. One. Oh yeah. <laughs> what is Joker that one? It was working, working for, one again. For what? Best actor. For Joker. Thank you. <laughs> and then music original score as well for Joker. Yeah. Do you know so what? I need to bring that in. You know what? I think Joker yeah, is a movie that mm -hmm. um how do I explain <laughs> it now? You begin to get different messages from me as time goes by. Like I've been able to relate like three different situations in my recent life mm. now to <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm wondering which part of the movie <laughs> yeah, I mean, Jeez, your... let me know. go ahead go ahead in my recent life now don't worry we have life. different life. life my life is fun <laughs> okay. do you understand I'm loving this yeah. <laughs> my life is fun so okay. we have different lives trust me to um Joker mm. now it doesn't have to be about Oaken's story there are other characters in the movie. That's why you need to see deeper than just working when you're watching the movie. You understand? Yeah. So, amazing stuff right there. Amazing movie. I, I think Joker is now a good you movie. Agree yeah, I agree amazing. now. That's a great movie. God, I won. Yeah, because no, I, I, I think, okay, the reason is because I saw it again. And I didn't fall asleep. <laughs> So for live action film, The Neighbor's Window, best production goes to Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Mm -hmm, and then yeah. animated feature film, that story, um, Toy Story 4, is weird. I've not seen that um, mm. one. And then animated short film was Hair Love. I'd like yeah. to see just that for the title, is Hair really, Love. Really, really beautiful. Wow. Really and then one. best sound mixing, 1917. Mm. OK, congratulations to all the winners. I'm glad that um, their work is paying off yeah, and they're being recognized. And yes. who else had the urge to listen to Joaquin? speech like you felt yeah. like what is he going to say this time around and, did, was, and, and it was powerful yeah, it, was it was powerful a very powerful well. speech yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I felt like it catered to most of the pertinent issues in the mm -hmm. U.S. and it wasn't too political. Yeah. It was just basically preaching that we should all just love each other and try to understand each yeah. other and realize that, and that we're, we're all, all fighting humans. for the same Yeah, thing. we're all yeah. fighting for the same cause. So it was a very, very wonderful speech. All right, enough of the Oscars. Moving on, Nicki Minaj says she regrets fighting with McMill on Twitter and that it is a good lesson knowing how to master your anger and emotions. Mm. Oh. I wish I could say this was the first time that they are having this kind of drama, mm -hmm. but this is, they've had this back and forth over and over and over again. And she also said it too when she was, when she, um, when she was saying, uh, she, she, when she was saying that she knows that this is not the first time that something like this is happening. And I like the fact that she has admitted the fact that she has a problem when mm -hmm. it comes to, you know, mastering her emotions. Because I believe these people are adults. Mm -hmm. As adults, you should know that there are some things you should not bring to social media and there are some mm -hmm. things that are better well, you know, so. sometimes you be like, you know what? Amy got petty. I will show you that I'm petty well, than petty. She's acting like she doesn't like I know, the I mean, drama she's not that comes petty, with it. So it's, it's all right. It's all right. She's allowed to be petty. Yeah? <laughs> But then the truth is just that even in her pettiness, she's also bringing trouble to herself because another thing it does is that it gives her a bad name in mm -hmm. the industry. She has had a follow up with Miley Cyrus, she has had a follow up with Safari, she has had a follow up with McMill. It feels like she's fighting with everybody simply because she cannot control this anger Safari and emotion. Was her 
Yeah, yes. Safari was also her ex. Mm -hmm. So they had the... everybody's ex. Yeah, my my problem, like, it's my problem problem always is, like Why does Mick Mill always have to fight all her exes? He fought Safari, now he's about to fight Mick Petty. Mick Mick yeah, Mick Mill actually had a fight with it's Petty a... at a certain store. With Safari? Oh, yeah, uh, with, with Petty, yeah, with yeah, Petty at a store. Which was yeah. where all this started from. It didn't start from... Online. Them going... Yeah, yeah, it didn't start from the tweets. Did you see the video, actually? Yeah, I did. Okay, so... um. So Mikuel had to be escorted from out the, the out of the place by mm -hmm. his own. And you know, the, guy. you know, Safari ran away from Mikmil like he was about to be attacked by Mikmil and his boys, and he ran. I think mm -hmm. I don't know. I think it was um, some <laughs> I don't know maybe two years ago at the Grammys or mm -hmm. something. What's it an award show? I can't mm -hmm. tell for the life of me right now. So I'm wondering why. McMill has to be caught up. Is it that he hasn't gotten over Nicki Minaj? Because why is he always fighting the exes? Do you want her back? Do you understand? But she's married now. Like, bro, let it go. Like, and no I matter don't what. Think she also even wants him back. Mm. She's she's even even if she wants him back, she's married. She's taken. Do you understand? Like, it's over. And then I was looking at her husband. <laughs> the dude has like two mad scars on his face. And I'm wondering, like, if this one who you. No, he actually has a prison record. So yeah, yeah, he's, he's an ex con. But <laughs> yeah. come on, I didn't want to say that. But his ex con to... is, is, is dodgy. Like, the story behind it is, mm -hmm. is not something you want to always remind him. Because yeah. from the story, and I think like, he was also a child mm. at the time. And then he was convicted and all mm -hmm. that. So. I don't know, but, but the guy has some scars, up. and I'm like, whoa, big man, this one, oh yeah, <laughs> it isn't a safari, safari that still wears crop tops. <laughs> okay, it's this time for a quick break, but when we return, we'll be discussing Onyeka Uenu, Idris Abdul Karim, Beverly Nanya, and so much more. We'll be right back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dollar, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you. Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. That got DM sometimes from Malawi like Woo! <laughs> sleeping early. Sleeping early. <laughs> Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, and this is something I have to deal with. Oh, you, you decided to stay well. No, no, you just stay that way. Stay that way, Fred. No, oh, no, no. Okay, it's fine. That was behind the scenes. It's this it. Onyeka Owen wins um, her case against Irokin. The court held that the intellectual property um, right of the plaintiff was indeed breached by the defendants between the period of 28th day of February 2015 and March 2016, when the defendants claimed it pulled down the works of the plaintiff from the defendant's specific digital platform, which is iTunes. And um, 500,000 naira was the amount awarded for and damages. I like, and what she said at the end is very powerful. It just shows that the judges did not understand what... Um, is it the judges now or the law? Because I think they're working yeah, with... Yeah, no, no, the law, law is there. Do you understand? The law is actually there. But when it's time to implement, so it's kind of like, uh, it's not a big deal. Do you know if this was America and you've been found guilty, like you're talking about millions yeah. of but it depends. No, no, no. I don't think it's just about, oh, you found guilty, you took somebody's song, and, well, you put it out to make money. They were right? still making the money after is, their two no, years the question contract would be, that expired. That's what I'm saying. And they were still making money. That's what I'm saying. Yeah? The question would be... Without how, paying our royalties. If I wait now. The question would be, how much was made between that on that platform alone obviously, obviously. between february obviously. 2015 and march 2016 that is the question obviously for her to put this out there mm -hmm. she must have sat down with the lawyers and they must have made a whole lot more mm. for her to feel that 500k is small mm -hmm. do you understand so i i don't know the exact figures mm -hmm. but i want to believe that and we know 
like how many Onyeka. times do you stream her song though what how many times do you stream on Onyeka I don't need iTunes. to stream Onyeka they are all in here <laughs> do you understand if, um, it's you streaming are, you, in my if, brain <laughs> Onyeka I'm not saying legend. she's not a legend I don't if, need to stream I am looking at facts and figures mm. so if you're going to say that she deserves more the question is how much did her song or the album whatever it is made on iTunes in the space on, of one year, that's um, February 2015 and March 2016. That is where the question comes in. So if she thinks that she's supposed to get more, then of course there's always room to say, oh God, George, I think we need you to know what? You this. know what? Uh, okay, now let's even forget how much they made. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the law works in a way to set examples, right? Mm -hmm. So for other people who think about, um, they, they just do it to set an example. So it's not about how much you made, yeah? You pay how much you made times four, just for lesson purposes, so mm -hmm. that another person would learn from it and you know that, okay, when your contract with so, um, party B has expired, stop ripping them off, do you understand? So I'm talking about in a country where uh, copyright infringement law works. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what would happen. What is the but fine? The I think someone needs to check that out for me. I can't remember specifically, but I know it's a very ridiculous amount of money that the first time I saw it, I felt like, okay, maybe I can pay this times 10 mm -hmm. <laughs> and then go and pirate as many as we want to. So mm -hmm. if you check the fee, or the fine attached to be when you when you bridge on somebody's intellectual right property is not up to five hundred thousand dollars. Okay, it, what about, what about K, this, co this case has been in court for how long now? Two mm -hmm. years, right? And um, she has been paying the lawyers mm -hmm. at time. Do you yeah, understand? I understand? You pay I for understand. damages. You pay for legal, mm -hmm. um, what's it called? Legal services. You pay for all of that. Do you understand? So, are you telling me five hundred k will cover all of that at time? Yeah, of course, that's a good angle to I look think, at. I think for me, I'll say that for a country that has been associated associated with um, lawlessness like Nigeria, I think this is the step in the right direction yeah, because she actually said, won yeah. the case and especially for creatives who have had their work you know who have been victims of this kind of thing i think it's a very very good win for them like she said maybe she was not paid you know the amounts that she was due but i think like you said that this would set an example to some of these you know music on um this music um streaming giants <coughs> That they can, yeah. yeah, music distributors, that they cannot just keep on making profit off of the work of creatives without mm -hmm. giving them their due, their due pay. They cannot keep on, you know, short cutting on contracts. Even after the contract has expired, they keep on making money off of their work. It would show them, you know, this would be an example yeah, for them that we, they would not yeah. be able to do stuff like this I think like we might anymore. also have to revisit this topic again because the question now is when she, she filed for, or uh, when she sued them, was she asking for a specific amount of uh, money, money as already. damages? Because most times when we talk about this type of issue happening in the Western world, you I already know they calculate, they've somewhere. done the calculate, calculation of what they were supposed to earn and what they yeah. feel is damages. Are you already hearing, oh, we're asking for $300,000, we're asking for $1 million. You know, it is now the, the, the work of the judge to decide, okay, is this too much based mm -hmm. on what you've earned? Is it worth it? Or are you getting it or you're not getting it, you mm -hmm. know? So I think mm -hmm. we need to go back to check and see if she had an amount attached to her damages or she mm. just wanted the judge to just rule in her favor to say you know what you did something wrong but like she said it's a step in the right direction mm. Mm. and um this mm. should teach some people some lessons yeah and also to create is i'll say that whenever you want to sign any contract ensure that you have a lawyer with you mm -hmm. so that you have something to hold on to and mm. then you have a claim and then you can make the huge demands that you're supposed to make this if they really breach your contract a lawyer, like my contract with your company and the two years ago mm. do you understand like, mm -hmm. why are you still getting money off my song? Yeah, but the truth is that in Nigeria, things like this happen because mm -hmm. people feel like and sometimes there could no be, law. like you said, lawyers are important, but there, there could be a clause in that That's paper you sign, yeah, and after it's ended, afterwards, you, you can still, the money. you know, make the money. You know? So, always make sure that I don't know, Shah, me, I know, I will read that. Unfortunately, <laughs> we cannot talk about Idris and Beverly Nanya. I wish we had time to do that, but maybe we would on our next episode. So, that's a wrap, and Will thank we? you <laughs> for watching. It, it, so much happens in the entertainment world. Like, before you wake up, it's something else. Okay, remember, you can watch this conversation all over again by visiting and subscribing to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. You can also watch it time 
on Alto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my co-anchors Nimide Kombi and the fellow Washington Kaye and the entire production team. Thank you so much for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Do stay with us. Thank you.